Have you ever wondered what life would be like on Titan, Saturn's moon? This celestial body has been the apple of the eye for many space enthusiasts and scientists alike. It's like being at the center of the universe's biggest, most complicated puzzle. Now imagine a bad day here on Earth. Traffic jams, spotty Wi-Fi, coffee spills, you name it. And then picture that on Titan, where a bad day includes lakes of methane and a freezing cold that would make Antarctica seem like a beach vacation. But before you pack your bags and book a one-way ticket to Titan, let's dive into what life could really be like there. Imagine waking up to a day where the sun appears only as a distant, hazy dot in the sky, and the temperature is a balmy minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit. Yep, you heard that right, folks. That's Titan for you, Saturn's largest moon and the only celestial body in our solar system other than Earth, known to have stable liquid on its surface. But don't get too excited yet, we're not talking about sipping Mai Tais by the beach. No, the reality of life on Titan is a bit more, let's say, chilling, literally. The average temperature on Titan is about minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit, making your worst winter day look like a summer vacation. We're talking a winter that makes Antarctica feel like Hawaii. So if you're the type who complains about the office AC being too cold, Titan probably isn't the place for you. And let's talk about the lakes. You might be thinking, great, a place to cool off from the frigid temperatures, but hold your horses or rather your swimming trunks. These aren't your typical lakes. They're vast bodies of liquid methane and ethane. That's right, on Titan, it's so cold that methane, a gas here on Earth, exists in liquid form. It's like taking a dip in a lake of lighter fluid. So if you thought the Dead Sea was a bit harsh, well, Titan's got it beat. Now, you might be wondering how we know all this. Well, thanks to NASA's Cassini mission, we've been able to get a close look at this distant moon. In a journey spanning almost two decades, Cassini gave us invaluable insights into Titan's atmosphere, surface, and even its weather patterns. But don't let all this deter you. After all, we humans have a knack for making the most out of the worst situations. So if you fancy a swim in a methane lake or a stroll in a minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit weather, Titan might just be your next vacation spot. But hey, every cloud, or in this case a thick, hazy atmosphere, has a silver lining, right? Now let's not dismiss Titan as a gloomy, no-good-for-humans kind of place just yet. Because despite the freezing cold, the lack of breathable air, and the perpetual twilight, there's something rather exciting about this distant moon of Saturn. Scientists have discovered the presence of organic molecules on Titan. Now we're not talking about a titanium version of Whole Foods, but these molecules are the building blocks of life as we know it. This means that Titan, in all its icy glory, could potentially harbor microbial life. Imagine this, extraterrestrial microbes that love the cold as much as polar bears do. I mean, who wouldn't want to meet a microbe that's also a fan of snowball fights and hot chocolate? And that's not all. Titan's thick atmosphere and gravity, similar to Earth's, could make it an ideal place for future human exploration. Sure, we'd need to figure out how to breathe and deal with the cold, but hey, we're innovative creatures, aren't we? So while Titan might not be the most hospitable place for humans, it sure does make for an interesting place to study and explore, and who knows? Maybe one day we'll see footprints in the icy sands of Titan, marking another giant leap for mankind. Now that we've taken a quick tour of Titan, what do you think? Would you sign up for a trip to this intriguing moon? It's a curious thought, isn't it? To be one of the first people to set foot on an alien world, to see the lakes of liquid methane with your own eyes, to feel the crunch of ice under your boots? Would you brave the cold for a chance to meet some extraterrestrial microbes, or maybe you're more of a homebody, preferring the comforts of Earth to the unknowns of space. And what about the possibility of life on Titan? Do you think we're alone in the universe? Or could there be other forms of life out there waiting to be discovered? Your thoughts matter. If you enjoyed this video, show us your love by pressing the like button. And if you don't like this video, show us some love by you guessed it, pressing that like button anyway. So in the end, it all comes down to that like button. Thank you to all of you.